Coin banks make learning to save money fun. These DIY wooden animal coin banks are as fun to make as they are for the kids to enjoy filling. Today I'm going to show you how to make all five of these fun designs. I made these banks as part of a scrap wood challenge featuring a group of talented blogger builders. I've got links to all of their projects on my website, so be sure to check them out. These coin banks can be made with about two feet worth of one by eight board. Begin by cutting the board into three pieces long enough to accommodate the animal template. I've got all the templates over on my website. Glue the pieces together, making sure the glue is spread evenly over each board. Clamp those down tight and leave them for a couple of hours or overnight. Next, trace the template on the top board, then use a bandsaw to cut them out. My bandsaw is a sad little specimen you can pick up for a little over $100, but it does the trick if you go slow. Just be sure to make lots of relief cuts. After you have the shape cut out, give it a good sanding. I simply used an orbital sander and a little micro sander to get in some of the tight areas. At this point you can go ahead and paint these up and they make great bookends or decorative objects. The rest of the process involves a little more work and the use of a table or bandsaw as well as a router. The banks need to be split in half in order to hollow out the inside. Ideally, this should be done on a large bandsaw. I used my table saw instead. Now, I'm only sharing how I did this and I can't assume responsibility for decisions, good, bad, or otherwise, in your own shop. Whatever method you use, please follow appropriate safety guidelines, use common sense, and keep all of your fingers attached. I used a router to hollow out both sides of each bank to make room for the coins. Then the two sides are glued and clamped back together. Give them a good bit of sanding, then cut the coin slot at the top. Drill the hole for the plug at the bottom using a Forstner bit. I painted these with acrylic paints and finished them with a high gloss polyurethane. Now it's time to get saving, and if your kids are anything like mine, they know exactly what they're saving for. Templates for all of these coin banks, as well as a more detailed tutorial, are on my website at www.thecreatedhome.com. Be sure to check out the other great scrap wood tutorials linked there as well. Follow along for more great projects on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at The Created Home.